Hi everyone, welcome to day 90 of 90 days with Jesus. If you actually did the entire 90 days, I need you to take a bow. No, I'm very serious. I'm going to pause and I'm going to let you stand up right now and take a bow. And I'm going to tell you three reasons why. Number one, if you actually did this consistently for 90 days, what has happened is that you have built a habit that will most likely stay with you for the rest of your life. Number two, you have a deeper understanding of the word of God. And finally, you now have a deep understanding of what it means to walk with Jesus. I'm so excited for you and I am so proud of you. Now today, being the last day of this devotional, we're actually going to be talking about the king must be worshipped. I'm going to say that again. The king must be worshipped. Now, this is a phrase we coined many years ago at my local church, David's Christian Center. And the reason why was because we wanted a phrase that would constantly remind us of how important it is to serve God. Now, in this generation, many of us may not understand what it means to have a king. And I don't blame you. It's possibly because the only thing you've ever encountered is a democracy, just like me. But in the kingdom of God, what we have is a monarchy, which means that we did not vote God in. He can't be removed. He can't be voted out. He is God and he will always be God. He will always be on that throne. Also, a monarchy means that the king, where the word of a king is, there is power. So the king has final and complete authority. You don't question his authority. You are totally sold out to the king, which means that your life, your possessions, everything that you have, belongs to the king. And in this kingdom, it is no different. In fact, Jesus said, if you love father or mother more than me, you are not worthy to be a member of this family. And he made the same sacrifice. He gave up his mother, he gave up his family, just to die for us. And that's the same kind of sacrifice that is required of us as children of God and as members of this kingdom. I'm going to read a scripture to you, something that I find very interesting, but I think it's a foundation for how we should serve in this kingdom. I'm going to read to you Luke 17, and I'm reading from verse 7, um, and I'm reading the Passion Translation, and it says, Jesus continued, after a servant had finished his work in the field or with the livestock, he doesn't immediately sit down to relax and eat. No, a true servant prepares the food for his master and makes sure his master is served his meal before he sits down to eat his own. Does the true servant expect to be thanked for doing what is required of him? The Bible says no. It says, so learn this lesson. After doing all that is commanded of you, simply say, we are merely servants, undeserving of special praise, for we are just doing what is expected of us and fulfilling our duties. So in this kingdom, we're merely servants. Anything that is asked of us, whether it is our time, our energy, our money, our thoughts, our energies, our ideas, even your discipline, anything that is required of you, you must be willing to lay it down for the king of kings. It's not very easy, but it is what is expected of you as a member of this kingdom. I'm going to pray with you now because I know that it's something that you can't do in your natural strength. So I'm going to pray and I'm going to ask God to give us the strength and the wisdom to be able to lay down our lives in total surrender and complete worship of our king. Father, in the name of Jesus, I thank you. I thank you for these 90 days have been enlightening, they've been insightful. We've learned so much about you and how much you love us and how much you've given for us. Now we've counted a privilege to be able to give back to you. And we ask that you give us the grace to constantly keep in front of us the fact that you are our king and that you must be worshipped. We receive the grace to serve you all the days of our lives. In Jesus' name we pray, amen, amen. So if these 90 days have blessed you, I want you to send us a message. Let us know how it has helped you, how it has changed your life. I'm sure there'll be numbers and platforms where you can send messages to us and let us know how much of your blessing it has been for you. So once again, congratulations for doing the entire 90 days. God bless you.